There is a very big difference between the way we coded computers when I was a young man, where I solved the problem in my head and then told the computer verbatim what to do. So the, the computers being so fast and scalable appeared intelligent, but the one that had the intelligence was me, the developer. Right? That ended at the end uh, of uh, basically the 20th century. Early 2000 and, uh, onwards, we started to let computers make their own decisions. As they did that, they became autonomous. And I think that's a very interesting keyword. At the time, we assumed that there were, they were copies, replicas, extensions of the old traditional computers, and accordingly, that they would not do a lot of the things that humans can do, like being creators, or composing music, or writing poetry. And we were wrong. Uh, they are fully autonomous. We don't actually always know exactly how they're going to come out. Right? Uh, when humanity was first, when I was first introduced to working AIs, it was early 2000s. And, and you know, I've worked with teams that created a lot of what you know today uh, when I was at Google and Google X. Uh, by the time humanity was introduced to AI, it was 2023. And in 2023, we started to observe this thing uh, with excitement. Uh, that year, uh, the geeks like myself started to um, basically do some experiments to show off. So we had AI take IQ tests and GMAT tests and SAT tests and all of the tests that humanity, humans take to prove that they're intelligent. Uh, ChatGPT 3.5 at the time scored 152 to 155 in IQ. Uh, Elon Musk is 155. Uh, uh, Einstein is 163, just so that you know. And Einstein was never really measured, but is estimated to be 163. So one of my total idols of intelligence was just a few IQ points away from ChatGPT 3.5. Since then, uh, it's estimated that AI grows in its abilities, uh, uh, doubles in its ability uh, every 5.7 months. So you could assume that every 5.7 months, it's not exactly that accurate, but uh, you, know, uh, you could assume that the 150 became 300, then 600, and so on. Uh, you know, th there was one very famous test that was taken at the beginning of 2025, which was called ARC AGI, uh, where without restriction of use of compute power, uh, ChatGPT basically achieved what is known as artificial general intelligence. Uh, or basically uh, a 3.0 at the time. So um, the, the, the idea of artificial general intelligence is that AI is better than humanity at every task humanity is capable of doing, right? We know that to be a matter of time. So geeks will tell you that they've become the world champion at everything we've ever assigned to them. So it's unlikely that they will not be the world champions in the next thing we assign to them. Uh, back in 2024, uh, they already beat me on intelligence, IQ, linguistic, language, and so on. Uh, I could still beat them in math. Uh, yeah, good luck. So now, now they thrash me in math, right? And there are very few of my friends that can beat them in math. There are very few of my friends that can beat them in de development and programming. Nobody can really beat them at the speed at which they can create innovative things. I now have a co-author in my new book. Uh, so we're writing together myself and an AI, not by me you know, uh, asking her and then copying what she said and assuming that it's mine. I'm actually writing with her where we disagree and debate and argue. And, uh, and it's, you know, most of the time I feel inferior, to be honest. Let me just say it in one word. My AGI, my artificial general intelligence, has already happened. Okay? AGI, artificial intelligence today is already more capable than I am. Now, when that happens, you have to question what will happen next, right? And what will happen next is, uh, you know, most of us geeks would have called this since 2007 almost. We started to call it a singularity. Singularity is an event horizon beyond which it is, you know, the rules of the game change so much that it becomes really hard to expect the outcome of the game, right? Because it's not being played the same way anymore. Now, the singularity, if you, uh, if you look at, you know, uh, the headline news and CNN and what have you, they'll tell you 
that it's going to be an existential threat where AI is going to be walking the streets and killing humans and, you know, that AI is the end of humanity. Uh, others, of course, especially the ones that make the AI, are telling everyone this is going to be a utopia. We're going to make everything amazing. Every dream you've ever dreamt, uh, you know, is going to happen uh, with AI. And, uh, you know, you have to believe one or the other. I sadly believe both. And I think this probably is my single uh, uh, debate with the rest of the community, that I actually believe we will have both. We will first have very difficult times before we have incredible uh, utopian-like uh, uh, you know, existence. And, and I, you know, I think the difference between them is that because we're, from now going forward, we're going to see two eras uh, of humanity's relationship with AI. One is what I call the era of augmented intelligence, and the other is what I call the era of machine supremacy. Right? Let me describe them very quickly. Augmented intelligence is what we've created so far. You have to imagine that we've created a plug in the wall. We've commoditized the intelligence, basically. So we have a plug in the wall. You plug in, you get more IQ points, right? My IQ points with AI's IQ points is smarter, so hopefully my uh, latest book is better than every other book I wrote, right? In that stage, unfortunately, humanity, and I say unfortunately, humanity has an impact on the outcome. And believe it or not, most of the problems that humanity faces today is not a problem that results from our intelligence. It's a problem that results from our stupidity, right? So sometimes uh, we are intelligent enough to be allowed to make decisions, but those decisions become uh, our demise, basically. They work against us. Simplify, you know, we make a decision to create a flying machine that can take you all the way to Australia to surf, uh, amazing intelligence, very, very smart, but it's burning the planet on the way, right? And so if we were intelligent enough, hmm, if we had more intelligence, we would actually not suffer the consequences, the negativity, the negative side of those decisions. Because humanity in the era of augmented intelligence is going to command AI what to do, then AI is going to be a magnification of whatever humanity is at this time. And sadly, humanity it's not at its best. <laughs>